Okay, so it'd be nice to give a very quick demo of um, using Vegetation Studio Pro uh, with World Streamer. So I've got um, essentially this scene. Uh, it was originally intended to be like a infinite looping scene, so these terrain tiles would just kind of load, and as you drive down the road, would um, load in and loop. Um, but uh, it just didn't quite work out for me with Vegetation Studio Pro so I've moved over to another solution for that but specifically without the infinite looping I found the World Stream and Vegetation Studio Pro worked you know really well together so th to be clear the very first thing you need to do is just to make sure that you, you've actually got um, Vegetation Studio working properly for you so I've just got all my tiles they're just normal terrains they've been kind of textured pretty roughly um, I've also got the road which I've split into um, essentially in line with the tiles of the terrain I've got my chunked roads and that really is just a, a sub mesh and now on top of the sub mesh I've got a vegetation mass line which is just a component from Vegetation Studio Pro that just means that once the vegetation is spawned it's going to avoid the road because otherwise you'd end up with vegetation all over the, the road all over the terrain because as I say these are just meshes you know if I hide them you see underneath is just uh, the, uh, the terrain continues so um first things first we'll add, add vegetation studio so add vegetation studio pro to scene and that does two things it adds vegetation studio pro the manager and on each of the terrain tiles you'll notice it's then got this additional component and the things you need to do for streaming are enable the add remove uh, or add remove at enable disable um, and then the other thing that needs to be done is just to make sure that your range uh, where is this environment no um, so my terrains have been added oh there it is in the the, the area so just by adding Vegetation Studio Pro to scene it's found all the terrains in the scene it's added them all that's fine they'll kind of disappear when we're actually streaming um, but what we do want to do is to disable automatic calculation and if you're unsure whether or not it's automatically picked up the right extent for you you can you know, s actually see it it is giving you a gizmo visualization of what that total area and, and this is important this is why my looping wasn't quite working is because beyond that area you will get nothing spawned even if there is terrain that's the area in which vegetation studio is is going to operate on so everything else is just really basic uh, vegetation studio stuff so i was using the meadow environment and then on top of that the hills demo scene so for the initial stuff I was I did just the basic package from the meadow environment which I added and then on top of that I added the small forest just so I could add you know some trees and it just makes it a little bit easier um, so that's in place uh, and I don't need to edit the biomes they they've kind of come prefigured I can literally just press play now and I'll have my vegetation there you are so vegetation in place um, with those as I was saying the kind of the line mask just means that the vegetation stops where you don't need it um, if you want to very quickly see those biome prefabs in action, is it literally is a case of you know you, you can drag them in and you get some trees. 
Um, just a really, I wish I saw more of these kind of biome prefabs and bi biomes generally as, as assets. I'd love to see those on the assets store being sold. So there you are. Uh, then you can kind of generate splat maps if you want on them, which will kind of take care of the the textures. But just not going to bother for now. I just want to demo this kind of streaming process. So save the scene. That will be my work scene. And then you go into your scene splitter for world streamer. So let me bring my in. I'm in here. I've just created these beforehand, they're just empty. Um, it's an empty folder, there's nothing in here. It's where I want my split scenes to go. And then, well, it's ages since I've done this. Um, split scene into virtual grid. Um, Oh no, so you add the layers first. You add the layers based on the names, that's it. So, so let's say uh, my first layer, I want to call it, say, so the game object prefix might be small because I've got my small forest. So I want these to be separate, they're kind of game objects in themselves. And we'll call that forest scenes or forest scene. Uh, and the size uh, is important. It depends on what your task size is. My task size happens to be 256 by 256, which I find is pretty good for streaming. Um, and then I want to add another layer, which, let me think about this. That's the terrain tile. So the prefix will be terrain. scene prefix so I'll just call it what it is terrain tile scene and again it's 256 by 256 and then I've got another set to split again on the same 256 by 256 uh, which are it's the main road where I call them. Yeah, main road. So that's the prefix. So, so these are not nested. And it's one of the reasons I've got this wrapper there because I need. It kind of only takes the root objects. It won't kind of operate on uh, certain meshes. And and the wrapper is just essentially to position it correctly in relation to the tiling grid. So that's gonna end up being a road seam. And is that right? I'm just double checking. Yeah, quite happy with that. And yeah, split scene into virtual grid. So that's now run through all of my game object prefixes and essentially nested them again inside their, their, their layer. That's the virtual grid, so all my road, my road scene inside has what I had before in each of those, has the terrains. Okay, so go all of that um, and generate scenes from virtual grid. I'm pretty happy with that. Do it. A scene to create folder doesn't exist, scene create folder, have I not copied that, oh it's inside of scenes, read the errors, they're there for a reason, ok, go for it, and off it runs and it's just essentially taking every single one of those layers on the grid, or each kind of grid in each layer and splitting them up into scenes. So I can go into here and just double check that I've got what I'm expecting to see. Yeah. 
my road scene and my terrain scenes and the prefabs that are required. Right, so that's part one. Right, so part two for the actual um, world streaming. What I tend to do um, is I often just make a copy of my scene and I turn that into the play. Um, there we go, I'll call, I'll call that a streaming demo. I'll do it. So let's open that. And then I pretty much delete everything I don't need. So it's been that I don't need, but I guess the important thing is I want to keep Vegetation Studio Pro. Um, don't got my car. Now I just pasted in essentially the streamers. So which is if you follow the instructions for World Streamer, you just you need your major streamer for your um, main terrain. Um, now that's from another scene, so I need to update what they're pointing to. So for us, we were pointing here. Uh, terrain tile, so it's this one. That's from yeah, the, the ones that I've just built. And the minor forest. It's that one. So all other streamers need to be miners. Your majors, your terrain. Um, then the road, is it? Yeah, the road. Um, and you can see the extent of the ranges as I've set them up. I've set them up as two, 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 with deloading de range of two. I recommend messing around with this scene loading weight frames. Um, you get this, um, you get lagging if Unity's been asked to do too much in any one frame. So this kind of splits the load across more than one frame. It just kind of ensures that it waits a little bit, gives a bit of kind of time for these to do their loading as well. So remember you're loading essentially three scenes concurrently, which is not something you ideally want ever to, to occur. You want each of those to happen um, on separate frames, depending on how much vegetation you've got and that kind of thing. So uh, add scene from production to build settings. Yes, of course, and I'm missing my player transform, which is this guy. So that's that. Player. Player. And then obviously the other big part of the equation is the streamer UI. If you if you want it, you know, to give you a nice um, representation of of it, kind of loading up um, and just check the references are correct yeah that's all good they're pointing to these streamers I don't think I need the teleport because this was from when I was doing my in fact do I need to yeah I need to untick looping because I do not want to be looping this uh, and finally build settings is my previous project so if I untick all those because I don't want them to be see I've been playing around in this project quite a few times so they're all unselected or unticked and now I can add the ones from this so I've added you see all these uh, demo they're all the trains and the forest needs to be added and the minor roads needs to be added and I think we're good to go now vegetation studio I didn't change it if you remember I, I made a copy of my original scene um, so that was my kind of work scene and then I duplicated that and turned it into the play demo just by deleting all the 
the terrains, all the you know all the objects they're now being streamed, but I've left this intact, um, which kind of leaves this as none, 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 because they've all disappeared now. So I can just go remove all terrains and make sure that that's still unticked. That's important. Okay, I'm going to save that and play. So it's loaded in um, my car and it's placed in a crazy place. But I've got vegetation. Where's the road? Whoa. Oh, I haven't got colliders on trees. I don't think so. I can just go through them. Oh, I know what's going on. It's not. It's not that. It's. It's just that it's not loaded in the road. Okay, but I got my vegetation. Let's find out why the road is not being loaded in. But yeah, here we go. Eh? I'll keep keep driving, cross country, and you can see the streaming. Yeah, so that's the end of my uh, my tiles. Okay, uh, minor roads. What's going on here? I probably have to look at the documentation again. I can't remember. Streamer active. Terrain neighbors. Is it something crazy? I've got to set this. I should. I should look at the. Yeah. So here we go. Uh, remember to throw in your terrain neighbours as being the major terrain. That kind of makes sense. Um, and now we've got all of the uh, different tiles being um, being streamed in. So including the forests, which you can now see in the distance and the road and you can see how that road is just kind of streaming in so obviously we're in a we're not in a build um, and I'm a terrible driver um, we're not in a build but it's doing what you expect it to you know so it's it's gonna it's streaming it's gonna lag a little bit and it is down to uh, vegetation density, uh, how many other objects you've got, um, and not just density but also the number of. I think I've got to the end of my road, yeah. Um, but also the different types of vegetation. So in your Vegetation Studio Pro, when you edit your biome, if you've got lots and lots of vegetation items that's going to have a performance impact you can imagine you know it makes sense each of those having to be initialized F fewer of these is better and obviously less density is better it's you know <laughs> streaming is streaming but that's kind of yeah that's the basics and it, it works great well well done world streamer and nature manufacturer and um and awesome technologies, what a great pairing, brilliant.